So these are my nine Atari cartridges that I had as a child. This little box had a lot to do with my adult life. Who would have thought? I'm not sure if I had an epiphany about, you know, I am an artist now, or if it's just that I got so into what I was doing, I just didn't look up. If you're willing to go and, and, and jump into an idea that a game represents, you're also willing then to deal with the social problem that it represents. How games impacted me is a small model of how games could impact the world. We didn't have a computer when I was growing up. I, the people I babysat for had a computer, so I would sit there and put discs in their computer in the middle of the night, and I didn't have any instructions, so I would just keep typing commands and try to figure out, go left, turn left, see left, look left. Three quarters of my life at that time was just syntax error, syntax error, syntax error, syntax error. So getting that avid curiosity, like hunger for like, wow, I really want to know how this works. How does this work? Who made this? Every one of these technologies is this portal to other people and to other worlds. And the surprises that players or interactors bring to the artwork is why I do it. So Tilt Vector was a concept I had a long time ago to figure out how I could get groups of people together to make games, interactive environments, technologies that would somehow impact society. We have lots of different projects from games that promote bystander intervention for sexual assault, public health projects. It's important that we make sure that what when we come into a space and want to have some kind of social change, that a game is an appropriate and really, really useful venue. So even if you're designing a game, you have to get an understanding of the cause and effect, the you know, possible solutions, the main challenges. You're trying to make a model. The game designer's task is to really reduce the complexity enough to make the system manageable. Games are really great for modeling these systems and they, they also allow players to be free and to have choice and to express their own agency or their own being in the world. And that's really cool because what it means is that people are invested in the choices they make. And the best games are ones where there are different choices you can make and both could possibly lead to success. And um, really understanding how someone can, can, can build their own strategy. Um, that kind of stuff is, I think, really transferable to everyday life. And that is very different than being handed a brochure on the street. Read about this terrible, vexing issue. You know, oh, that's hard. That's horrible. This is a hard thing. I want to be invited to think about the problem. And play is that invitation space. Now, people may reject it. So the job of a game designer is to make something really actually fun. You have to have a real talent for um, keeping the spirit of play alive while you're dealing with hard, hard topics. <laughs>